I don't know if you can hear me through this space helmet, but oh, we're so cold. Now we know why scooters were available. We did manage to find a scooter. We haven't seen it yet. A lot of moving pieces today. We got up early this morning to go pick up our scooter, which we were supposed to pick up at 9 a.m. It's 10 a.m. now, and uh, they said it's still not ready for us. So I'm gonna go grab my stuff because we have to move hostels today. Yeah, this is our end. How do you feel? Ready. Hopefully the weather holds up. Looks like it's getting nicer. So this is our ride Crossbones. <laughs> it's a pretty cool name. I know, I know. Uh, this is the illustrious Yamaha X-Max 125. This is like the biggest, baddest scooter that they could give us. And it's pretty heavy, honestly. So this is the first scooter that I've ever had that actually just has a wireless key. Like this thing, it's got lots of storage for a scooter. Ooh. Lots of storage, two helmets plus some bags. Got a very attention grabbing horn. I've only ridden on the back of a scooter once and this one is definitely much faster. Definitely a lot windier. The conditions are not as fun. Here's hoping that the weather clears up. The nice thing is we just are able to drive around and stop wherever we want like this rest stop. So had you come to the Azores just a couple of decades ago, you might have just died of boredom when you got here. And the reason for that is around that time, this whole area was just like this. It was just farmland. It was beautiful, but there was not a lot of anything. And then a couple of really interesting things happened to the Azores. First of all, the island got internet. It's in a very strategic location for getting internet. It's a sub-oceanic cable that connects the United States and Europe. And the Azores is kind of this perfect stopping off point for it. I don't know, I kind of prefer the nothingness. It's so beautiful and untouched. So Portugal's whole idea for the Azores was kind of to try to make a second Hawaii. And in a lot of ways they succeeded, but in a lot of ways they also failed. The initial intent was to make essentially this whole island just a big resort island. And they did build a couple resorts and we're gonna go see exactly what happened to one of those in a little bit. But what really caused tourism on the Azores to explode was the low cost airlines like Ryanair, Wizz Air, Air whatever, there's a hundred of them. The Azores exploded and honestly, it's, it was pretty easy to see why. Oh, she's a beast. Here we go. All right, so this big old spooky haunted castle right behind me was originally an amazingly beautiful resort. It was originally built in 1989 and then in 1990 it closed its doors. Now I've heard from a lot of different people a lot of different reasons why it closed its doors, but I think that the truth of it is probably just a lot simpler, just a bad business decision. This thing was built in the 80s and the Azores wasn't really on anybody's map for tourism in the 80s. And they built this amazing five-star 88-room hotel with a big nightclub. The view is absolutely beautiful from inside of there. But honestly, this was before any of the low-cost airlines were here. It was before the island had internet. It's before anybody had internet. I just think that it was just way too big, way too early. I think the best stat about this thing is that it received an award for amazing architecture and design on the same week that it had to close its doors because it just didn't have any customers.
It was so creepy in there. And when I walked in there, I was like, hey, yeah, if you go all the way up to the top and go to the left. And the guy was like, oh, I know. I used to be the director here 20 years ago. I swear to God, <laughs> crazy coincidence if it's true. But yeah, that was, that was awesome. I had really hoped that the weather would just clear up, but it's not looking so good. The views of the lakes from here are supposed to be so beautiful. I think we just chose the wrong day. Not that you can really predict. We're gonna see if uh, we can see some other things or maybe we'll stick around or maybe we'll go see some hot springs. It is the perfect weather for that after all. Quite possibly the worst day to rent a scooter, I gotta say. Oh my god, this is so scary. It's so wet. We're doing great. It's so scary, it's so wet and slippery, and the weather's so terrible. I don't know if you can hear me through this space helmet, but. Oh, we're so cold. Now we know why scooters were available. When it was really rainy and really cold, all we could think about was getting back to our favorite place here. This is the best bar. This one right here. We're gonna put a link in the description. You should come to this one because it's the best. This giant glass of wine, 150. And they helped us find parking. <laughs> yeah. That was really nice. Most of all, it's indoors and there's no rain. hostel and it is so beautiful everyone's so friendly they're so great here makes us feel right at home we have these awesome bunk beds and we're just gonna dry off get warm and I think take a little siesta before maybe we venture out again I think Josh is feeling particularly tired and sad this hostel is so beautiful just been a bit much today. We're hoping for a bit better luck out there right now. Maybe some hot springs. What do you think about hot springs? That looks like a yes. We literally just got outside. Are you kidding me? Wait, is it stopping now? I woke up a little bit sad because of, you know, this weather. But after the best pep talk from our friend here at this hostel she said keep going you got this we got outside and it literally just started raining and then it stopped now it's starting again so we're just gonna go and then it stopped again there's no way to know what to do that's why she just said keep going and if you get wet go like this shake it off far until we uh, accidentally got onto a highway and it was quite scary for a little bit so we immediately exited we found this really cool lookout it's quite beautiful and it's not raining
I will not miss this thing. Status check, raining. really caused tourism on the Azores to explode was the coming of what is the word I'm trying to say? Uh, uh, the invention of that's not what it is. Excuse me, meet me. This is Brown Control to Major Top. Hi, kitty. <laughs> what do you got to tell us? So many things to say.